Hi, my name is Mike. Thanks for joining me today on my channel, Technically Church, where I share over 20 years of experience in audio, video, lighting, and multimedia. You can always find out more on my website at technicallychurch.com. Let's jump in. So I'm gonna walk you through uh, using a TechLink Duo 2 card from Blackmagic with a Mac Mini. And you do need a enclosure, a USB-C um, PCI enclosure to make this happen. So I'm using the SANA enclosure here. That's a little messy, I'm still getting this uh, connected and figured out. So we've got the SANA enclosure with the TechLink Duo 2 card inside. That's hooked to my Mac Mini uh, using USB-C. So that gives me four uh, potential inputs or outputs using the SDI cables. Uh, and so in my case, what I'm gonna show you today is how to set this up using ProPresenter. I am using uh, lower thirds, I'm using an alpha key. So my setup looks like this. I'm gonna use all four um, SDI connectors as outputs. Connector one will be my lower thirds. Connector two will be my alpha key. Connector three will be full screen. Uh, for my TVs and for um, videos. And then connector four is gonna go to my rear stage screen for my band, the stage confidence monitor. So let's uh, just walk through what this looks like to set up. After you've got the enclosure put together, connected to the Mac mini, um, we have to have the desktop video software to make this work. So let's head over to the computer, go to blackmagicdesign.com and you need their software to make the DeckLink Duo card work. So we're gonna to go to support, scroll down, click on capture and playback, and you're looking for the desktop video software. The version may be different. In my case, it's 1281 uh, February of 2024, and I'm gonna download the Mac version. So download that, install it, and open it. So once you do that, you'll see this. And you're going to see settings for each port on the DeckLink card. So you see here DeckLink to a 1, 2, 3, 4 as I scroll through with these arrows. Uh, you can go in and do settings for each of the ports. So we're going to do that. So we'll go to DeckLink Duo 1, go into settings. There's a lot that you can do here if you need it for your use case. I'm going to take all of the uh, defaults here except for the connector settings. So we're going to jump over to the connectors tab. And you have an option here to set connector one as SDI one, or you can tie it SDI one and SDI two together. You do need to do this if you're doing an alpha key uh, in ProPresenter specifically. So I'm gonna go ahead and tie SDI one and two together and click save. We'll go over to port two, same thing, go to connectors. In this case, you can't pick two because you've tied that to one. So I want it to be an individual port, in this case, SDI 3. SDI 3 save. If we jump over to port 3, you're going to notice um, that you really have no choice here. You could override it and pick SDI 2, which we don't want because we're already tying that to 1. So I'm going to pick none in this case. And then if we go over to 4 connectors, we want that to be SDI 4. So essentially what you're getting, you have 4 connectors, and it's really three connections because you're tying the lower third and the alpha key together. So once you have it set up that way, we can close desktop video and jump over to ProPresenter and set that up. So in ProPresenter, go to Screens, Configure Screens. All right, so I already have a few things configured here. Uh, you're gonna wanna add, for this scenario, two audience screens and one stage screen. And I've already labeled mine lower thirds plus alpha, TVs, and stage. So under uh, lower thirds plus alpha, you're going to pick the output of DeckLink Duo 1, and you're going to want to pick the resolution uh, that matches what you need for your output. So in my case, I am outputting to Blackmagic's uh, video switcher. That video switcher is set to 1080i at 60 frames a second. Um, in this case, it's actually 5994. Uh, so I'm going to match that resolution from the video switcher in here into ProPresenter. So I'm going to pick DeckLink Duo 1, 1080i5994 for my lower thirds at alpha output. 
Now there's one more setting here. We go to alpha key, and this needs to be pre-multiplied and external. And these are settings that may differ depending on your video switcher. Again, I'm using the Blackmagic Television Studio, and this is what we need here. So that's all set up. So then we're going to jump over to our TVs, and I have plugged in my TVs to DeckLink's uh, port 4, and you're just going to set the resolution for that. Same with your stage screen. I've uh, plugged that into DeckLink's 2 port, and you're going to pick the resolution of your TVs. So that would configure ProPresenter to output all of those outputs uh, to the DeckLink card, and then consequently whatever you have plugged in there. And this will use uh, your lower thirds and your alpha key uh, for doing transparency on your video switcher. So thanks for watching this quick tutorial on uh, setting up the DeckLink Duo 2 card uh, with ProPresenter specifically using an alpha key outputting to a video switcher. Thanks for joining me today. Again, my name is Mike. You can always find out more on my website, technicallychurch.com, or on my YouTube channel, Technically Church. Look forward to seeing you soon.